Hi everybody, here's Christian from Teamwork Cast. And I'm Stefan from Nerdrunners. And this is Netrunner with Teamwork Cast. This is the 28th of February 2015 in Mage Store Düsseldorf. This is the final round, this is the finale. Oh, both players are sharing a Dextro Energin, which is a German, like a sugar tablet here. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so on the left we have uh, FOX uh, playing uh, NEH. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's my kind of deck. <laughs> and on the right we have Jaws from the first round and from many other rounds here. So some really great matchup here. I'm really excited about this one. This is great. I have to say I love Jaws as a deck uh, playmat. Yeah. We, I've, I've seen it before, uh, of course, so I'm not surprised by it, but yeah, but it's, it's really sweet. Like, I, I see Seth, he designed it himself. Oh, wow. Uh, which, I, that's a really nice one. Like, the, oh man, just, just so much thing going on in this match. So a really nice color scheme going on, and he even had, like, these uh, individual areas for the different cards. Hmm, nice. Well done. <laughs> but anyway, it's a, it's a lovely start. Again, with any age, it's always going to be going sideways, to start with, at the very least. Yes, you have to install uh, every time. The first time, God, they yes. always make me mistake. The first time they install a remote server, create a new remote server, they draw a card. So it makes sense to always play your remotes first. So you draw a card, and then you in uh, they install uh, two eyes in front of HQ and R&D. Perfect start here. Some economy would have been nice, but yeah, you can't have everything most of the time. <laughs> And on the right we have, and of course Andromeda, she starts with nine cards, so she has like this very difficult start here where she has to get out four cards in the first turn, or otherwise she will have to discard stuff. That's a fairy. That is a fairy, that's a very good. And then, uh, of course, Dirty Laundry on Archives. Really? Archives? Yeah, really? I just go for the unprotected server. I mean, that seems... Seriously. Just to find out what it is. I mean, yeah. if that's a Jackson, that would, they will lose the Jackson. That's still good for you. Oops, sorry. That's <laughs> quite alright. Uh, so yeah, um, still Jaws uh, goes for the archives. What's the other card he's played down there? Is that a uh, mm -hmm. the card Jaws has played next to his ID? Oh yeah, that's the secure testing. I'm sorry about that. Ah, yes, of course uh, it is. that's something else he played. And the final card is oh nice, uh, Elthrys Hotel. Hotel. Yes, <laughs> the new meta. Mm, Elthrys Hotel, so good. Oh wow! Well, so so the Elthrys Hotel is cost four credits, so it's very expensive. It's a resource, and every turn uh, there's like three counters on it, and every turn uh, he uh, when the turn begins, one counter gets removed, and he draws two cards. So like lots of card draw for very for quite a lot of money, but still a lot of card draw. Quite worth it. And then uh, we've seen a rest of a pad campaign before the turn begins, and then straight into a uh, sweet week. Indeed, getting the monies. And then he insulted on a remote server here. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now what could that be? I don't think it's quite the same as a... Maybe it is a DRT. Who knows? Who knows what kind of deck uh, FFOX no, is playing? No, no, no. I think that's a, we're going to see a very standard fast advance here from uh, from FFOX. Ugh. It's so boring. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it wins tournaments. Yeah, I can't, I can't argue with it. <laughs> I think that's why I'm annoyed by it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think these days, you know, now that uh, the valley is almost out, I mean, when we're recording this, the valley is out, um, that, you know, now you have Claude and everything, you can do something about against this, but at the, the point where we recorded this, that was pre order and Chaos time, so uh, I mean, yeah, things I, were looking, looking different. I'm going to be assuming that Cloth is going to be as uh, necessary and include for the runners as uh, Jackson Howard is for a corp now. I'm not sure if it's going to be that necessary, but just the fact that it sticks around sometimes will make any age less interesting. Although sadly, like there's still like people are already figuring ways of playing around uh, Claude with any age. So it's not like this, the death of fast advance. We're gonna see still people fast advancing. Uh, we see a uh, dirty laundry run on the archives, which is great because the archives was a secure test. So that's always what I want to do. Like you know, the only thing that's missing here is, is like uh, Desperado. Oh yeah. And then he'll be getting all the money. Yeah, <coughs> all the money, all the money world. <laughs> Corona out and running on the uh, on the R and D star. There's a uh, Eli. Yikes. Oof. Hmm. Having a little bit of a uh, click disagreement here. <laughs> yeah, click, click, counting the clicks. I think he only has one click left. Just one click. He yep. doesn't want to um, break the Eli with credits. He could, 
with a Corona, but I think that's very expensive. I don't know. I mean, you're in that far. You might as well if it's uh, if you've got one click left. But maybe that's uh, just me. Final click, bouncing off, uh, running on the HQs, making uh, FOX rest stuff, and that is a. Uh, that's an architect. Architect breaking the architect with a ferry. Wow. Yeah, not, don't don't want to see no stinking architects. <laughs> And wow, no rest oh, on the okay. second ice, uh, gets the access and oh. wow! Oh wow, that's a it's, big win. <laughs> oh, that was amazing and FOX was a, a bit, um, let out a grunt of dis disagreement there obviously, <laughs> <laughs> because I guess uh, that was I think the only agenda there, or maybe one of the, uh, we no, don't know. Well, the, the way he's icing up uh, R&D, probably. Um, we don't know yet, but yeah, R&D is being iced up here. The, the, the plan of FOX, of FOX was scoring this next turn uh, was uh, yeah was stopped. Cruelly shut down, some would say. <laughs> I don't know if it was next turn actually, because yeah, he has true credit, so no next turn, no. but yeah, eventually. Uh, right, so, so we see secure testing on the archives. What is that card? Man, that's glaring. Uh, I think it's a sure gamble. Oh, it is. Yeah. All right. So, sure gamble. Man, Jaws being do doing good job staying, like, super aggressive. Like, with this kind of money, he can do a lot of aggression here. And he gets out an HQ interface. Oof. That is going to be fun. Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll, uh, it means he can start digging. Yeah. Uh, depending on what kind of ice we see. I mean, I, even something like a quandary would stop this. this. Mm. I mean, yeah, he's, now he's blown through his fairy. It's kind of a... What is that? Uh, oh, that's a pop-up pop window. Ah, I should have known. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so it's losing one one c credit here. Uh, continuing. And, wow, yep. breaking the Eli with credits because I think he doesn't have the, the clicks for it anymore. Seeing two cards, but nothing. But, you know, he is, has the has the NEH in the R&D lock right now. Naturally, and uh, I think it's a good place to be. I mean, you you've need to run aggressive against fast advance. Definitely. And also, like, R&D is really not well protected. Ooh, oh, wow. daily business show and deciding not to trash? Well, I don't well, think he can. doesn't have the money. <laughs> Would have been nice. But now, of course, NEH can get out of the R&D lock. They will see the two cars that he saw previously. We'll keep, I would keep the sure gamble. Yeah, that's yeah. what happens. I'm so, I'm, it's so strange seeing uh, sure gambles in there. When I'm playing NEH, because I play so sideways, I'm constantly re recurring a diversified portfolio. Diversified portfolio. Oh, uh, you, interesting! You, you oh. get a credit. Yeah, credit for each uh, each remote server with a card in it, and uh, mm. I, it's been known for me to get 19 credits off of one of those before. Holy crap! Yeah, I know. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I saw a diversified portfolio using like Shark Tank type of decks with like with like this NEH that tries to kill. Oh yes, it, it's uh, a mixture. It's NEH and then all the Turtlebacks, pad campaigns, diversified portfolios, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then uh, three DRTs and some snares. Yes, yes. But of course, this is like a very, you know, very boring kind of NEH deck. Although, you know, <laughs> there's still uh, there's still possibilities to, to make it more exciting here. Uh, oh, yeah. So we see a fairy. Oh, yeah, that's very good. So because I saw a, a count siphon on, uh, on Jaws' hand here right now. So he, that's also now a possibility. But he doesn't have too much money. No, no. I think maybe you wait a turn or two for uh, FFOX to get some more credits. And then you go in with the account siphon just to shut him down. Definitely, but on the other... Oh, no! Oh, he decides to go now! <laughs> wow! Bold move. Oh, I really hope that's not a code gate behind that uh, architect. One credit breaks the architect. And... Oh! Oh! FOX reses the... Oh, that he is... He res a wraparound. Yeah, but, but the funny thing is, like, Jaws doesn't have the money to break the wraparound. Oh, ri oh, wow, I completely miscounted that. Oh. He actually didn't have the one to rep. Oh, man. That sucks. I'm, it doesn't matter anyway, because FOX is down to just one credit. I mean, I don't think he, Joss would have triggered the, uh, the account site if he even if, uh, had the money to get through the wraparound. No. It's just, the idea was just to make uh, uh, FOX poor, and that's he succeeded in. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid choice. All right, another place. pet campaign. Ooh, those... those no, we're running on the pet campaign, actually. Uh, and then... Uh, daily business show. And no, he doesn't decide not to have the quandary. Oh, but that's... Uh, is that an agenda? I don't know. I'm not sure. There's, he's so fast with his hands, with his cards. 
I think it might have been another um, Astro script, perhaps. It's, uh, it could be. That's that could be really great. But FOX is not in a situation to fast advance right now. He doesn't have too much money. He really needs to get up the money. He just starts a card and draws a, uh, draws a card. Oh yes, yeah, sweeps. There you go. Yes. I mean, he may be reading Jaws. Jaws hasn't been running particularly on remote servers. No. And I, it really, I, I really don't like Jaws' decision to not trash the daily business show. I think that has to go at some point. It needs to go. We, we, there is a saying across a lot of the English metas, which is you always trash the business show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good. I think, uh, I think FOX installed another remote server off camera. Oh, really? I specifically told the guys not to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk. Uh, have a talk with uh, FOX here. Go and lay down the law. <laughs> mm. Running on uh, the archives here, getting the credits. I mean, at this point, F FOX really doesn't have any, any way to stop this um, um, this secure testing. Oh yes, that's very money. good. Oh yeah, sure gamble, getting up the money since so now he has the money to trash things. Oh, there's another uh, S was um, another, another two pad campaigns being rezzed. Oh, three pad campaigns, man. There's a lot of trashing in in uh, in Jaws' future, but he does have a uh, account siphon. Oh, now then. I mean, oh man, he doesn't have any 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 sentry breakers. Another install drawing card off screen. Curses! <laughs> Curses! <laughs> Ever wags! <laughs> ah, it's the heat of the moment. I can't blame yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're used to it. <laughs> we have to. You should like create like double white like mats for those kinds of decks. I've, I've once had to move a, a table over in a bar just to accommodate the number of cards I had out. <laughs> I, I, I emptied my entire deck onto the table. It was ridiculous. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, that's the the kind of Netrunner games you uh, you remember, right? Oh yeah, the kind of games where your opponent looks up and goes, "What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is this even? I don't even." <laughs> and we see a run on the Dale Business Show, and that the, the Business Show goes finally. Oh yes, good choice, Charles there. And it means we get to see the servers as well, which is a good thing. Mm. <laughs> doing so much good, and account siphoning. Think, wow, <laughs> through the architect. Just let it trigger. That's a bold move. Let it go. Especially considering he's just wasted his money trashing the, yeah. uh, the Daily Business Show. I don't know if that was a wide choice there, because he can just get back to Daily Business but Show. No, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, yeah, but you know, you know that thing where you trash a Jackson and no, no, like like trash something and then run on a Jackson. It's like, oh wait, oh, yeah. that wasn't very smart of me. I but he knew what was going to happen. <laughs> 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 I don't mind if the Jackson's like face down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's true. What's he yeah, no, do? it's it's you know the f fifth round of the tournament. Oh yeah, I, you get to a, a certain level of fatigue at this round. Definitely. All right, so something gets installed. What do you see? What it was? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Hmm. And yeah, Dave Lewis business show being installed. Naturally. <laughs> Obvi. And then the wraparound being broken for one credit, and then FOX reses the. Uh, the Sansan. Sansan. And something else as well, I think. Maybe the uh, the business show. And then uh, Joss decides to... <laughs> oh! Yeah, why not? Why would you not Paid steal off. that? <laughs> Paid off! Paid off! NAPD! Random Paid NAPD access. Sweet. There's another account siphon, though. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, this is... <laughs> He's all over FFOX. I'm getting the credits from the secure testing. Still haven't done that. Interesting. Uh, man, you know, as Jawsy, I don't know how you well feel about this, but as Jawsy, I want to see my Desperado. Yeah, desperately. I, I want to see more breakers because uh, he needs a solid sentry breaker to be taking care of that architect who's going to be putting pressure on HQ. That's true. I'm assuming he has some. Wow! Oh, cool. Holy crap! There is a random score of the BL from the, because he's I, it's a super nice choice here by FFOX. He realized that Joss he's not checking really the remotes, yeah. So that was actually a very safe install here and scoring the BL right there. It's a smart move. I mean, you can only apply so much pressure, and uh, yeah. one of the strengths of any any agency you're installing that many remote servers. If they're unprotected, you've really got to take the risk that you're just going to keep running to either assets or traps. Yeah. 
I mean, a, if you have a if you have a desperado, it's actually a very nice choice because you get you still get a credit for it. Uh, but without Desperado, it's really very unappealing to run on those remote servers. And I think Jaws has just drawn a, a cloak, so and I know he's got a special delivery in hand, so maybe we'll be seeing the century break coming out sooner than we think. I'm fascinated that this was a cloak, Andy, and we haven't noticed until now. I just like haven't been getting it through. <laughs> it, it, we're 15 minutes into this match and we haven't seen a <laughs> single cloak thing. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, no, it's insane. I... I Desperately trying to get Stealth Andy to work, but you know, at times it's just so stressful. There, are, we've seen some games where where uh, Andy did like a huge Stealth Andy did like a huge nose dive. Uh, so you can actually, you know, it's it's a it's a bit of a freaking mistress here. But yes, we see finally the first Stealth card here, a cloak here installed. Oh man, look at how those players are sharing tokens. So so nice. So it's very nice. gentlemanly. At this mm. at this point in the day. Yeah. When all you want to do is go to the bar and have a drink afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when I'm playing against NEH. It's like blah. <laughs> you know, NEH I I, I always I, I'm very hard about NEH, but actually I like playing against NEH because those games are at least over quickly. Well, this one's getting on a little bit. <laughs> yeah, quite unusual. Like, Very unusual. doesn't seem to be able to get off of uh, to get the the stuff done. But you know, Astro Script is um, no Sense and City Grid is up. So, you know, if they had an agenda there, you could score what? Oh wow! Wow! wow. What is he digging for? There you go. Astro Script. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You have to explain. Bertic Labor getting four clicks, uh, then uh, sh sh Fast Track getting the Esco script, installing the Esco script there, and of course then Shipman von Sands and to yeah. actually score it through. Wow, that is a, a textbook Fast Advance play if I've ever seen one. Yeah, that's something that can happen. That's why you have to trash the Sands, and even though it seems like it's pointless. Uh, because that's something that you can do, and now of course uh, FOX, like the world changed for FOX right now because he can't fast advance uh, without any kind of help. There is a token on that Astro script, and that will open so many plays. Let's get the Astro stream flowing. Although one of the Astros has gone, so yeah, that's true. So there's just one more Astro left. I, as Jaws, though, my top priority is to trash that Sansan man. Yeah, Sansan, and then the uh, Daily Business Show. Both things are huge threats, and and I, I really feel like FOX has really the upper hand here right now. Definitely. Even though even though FOX is uh, no, they they even at points. They now even. So yeah, security testing, getting the credits of security testing. And of course, FOX has emptied his account, so there's no point in joining that siphon. Yeah, the siphon doesn't do anything. The siphons, they do nothing. <laughs> Oh, that got me in the right the place. <laughs> <laughs> Second security testing, love this play. People often forget that you can play two security testings, but this is really great now. Oh, I'm always and forgetting of course, that. <laughs> and of course, trashing the sand sand. Against any age is great. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like you're creating a little opus there. Uh, now then, what's that going to do? Do you think he looks for another agenda, or do you think he goes and starts throwing them to the bottom of his deck? Uh, he doesn't have too much money, so I guess he has to get some of his money up. Uh, but he gets the money from the pads, whatever. Yeah. Uh, he just draw. Yeah, I think he. I would draw up for 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 the agenda to get the third Asco script, or at least some kind of third agenda out. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that that will help as well. But now, of course, he. Uh, so the the sen the. Sweeps week gets him up on the credits, but of course that makes opens up for the uh, accounts that's play. Often, yeah. How many Sansan have been trashed? Two? I think just two, yeah. There's probably mm. one more floating around. And he's iced up that server, so maybe he's thrown another one down. Huh. I mean, Jaws is not really good with his breakers right now. I mean, 20 minutes on the game is still just one breaker? Mm. It's wow. A, it's a bit strange, but he has got a, uh, a special order in hand. Yeah, and of course he can get back immediately like four credits with two clicks. Yep. Uh, he has uh, like half an opus there. <laughs> huh. I want credit though for Jaws, so not really a lot of options here right now. I think you you run 
face check that ice and then think about getting in there next turn. Maybe, yeah. Like, there's usually not very little, like, dangerous ice from NEH, so you can assume that you can fa safely face check some of the stuff. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is that it's an um, architect. I mean, you, you've clearly never face checked into a flare. I did, <laughs> and I survived. Like, it's, I was able to break it, actually. Oh, wow. But, yeah. Oh, it was crazy. With the, uh, with the look for an icebreaker. Oh, okay, so what will he get now? So he got the credit from this from the uh, security testing, and now he uh, a dagger maybe. Special order, yeah. Dagger would be nice. I mean, he wants to get into HQ, I guess, right? I see. So I think. Oh, that's a switch switchblade. Switch, switch, switchblade would be nice, but he doesn't have any a lot of uh, stealth credits for the switchblade. Hmm, difficult. Maybe Mimic if he has one, but I'm assuming if he's... If he's uh, oh, yes, that's Switchblade, yeah. That's going to be something. Think about this, yeah, Switchblade. Difficult. I mean, oh, man, there's just so much setup required for, for Andromeda, and I feel like Jaws didn't see the cards as he needs. No, I think in a hand of nine, you really want to see a couple more breakers than he's actually seen. Or more stealth credits. I mean, uh, oh yeah, like just one silencer or another a cloak would be, would be nice here. So the switchblade really doesn't seem to do much, as, except maybe he maybe has a ghost runner on hand. Let's see about that. Oh, there oh, is no, a, a oh, silencer. there is a silence on hand. All right, so switchblade. And I'm getting to credits. And now FFOX is clearly in the money. <laughs> yes, he is in the money and he is uh, getting the daily business show off. What will he keep? There's a pop up window and he keeps a pop up window. And that. Oh! Oh, difficult decision. Pop up window or hedge fund. <laughs> oh, I, I, you see, I'm not sure about that. I mean, what are you really protecting at this point? I think Papa Huno gives him more strategic options to ice up stuff. Yeah, I think clearly he's protecting that one server. <laughs> I think that's a Sansan in the server there. Yeah. It would, I would be surprised if it wasn't. That's really great, because even like checking your server now will give him money. Wow, and icing up the R&Ds. Maybe that's the Papa window. Possibly. That would be very expensive to check that uh, R&Ds. All right. Alright, we see a security testing on something, I'm not exactly sure, but he gets some credits. I'm fairly sure it's one of the pad campaigns. Yeah, it doesn't matter really. No, and there's a silencer. Mm, and then getting more... Yeah, the, oh yeah, that's a silencer. Is it? Oh yeah, he's someone, yeah. yes. So now the, the switchblade is capable of breaking that uh, that architect here. Mm -hmm. Will he do that account I would do that account seven, maybe now. Uh, you, it'd be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? There yeah, you go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it would be rude not to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how rude! You didn't account cipher me when you could. <laughs> well, I mean, look at how much money he's got. It would really be a real crying shame if he didn't just account cipher there, because he's not going to take any real punishment from the um, tax. God damn it, Jeff oh. Why did you? Even ah oh. oh, I completely forgotten about that server. <laughs> that is still possible, and that is indeed a Sansan here. Ah, oh. it's still six credits, and he still has a click. So maybe he gets his money and then just runs for the Sansan and hopes he can get through. But you know, if Fox has a um, car, um, agenda on his hand, he will uh, be able to score it, and then he would be at match point. Mm, difficult, difficult, but he does it anyway. I mean, okay, he wouldn't be able to score it. He still needs a Shippon von Sansa to score it because he's uh, he, FOX doesn't have any money right now. No, no. Well, oh no, he gets three credits. Three whatever. Credits I'm, hats, yeah. I'm taking it all back. Oh. Yeah, this this doesn't look very well right now. No. Oh, I'm mm. so tense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jaws, we need to so do something. There's just, just three points, man. Oh, oh man, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, of course. Go, you, yeah, you go and face. try and get rid of that Samsung. You got even, it. even if you don't have any stealth credits left. It's it's worth just seeing what the ice is. Yeah, I guess now Red and Rank in there does make. Oh, he has five credits. He can trash it. And I don't think... Oh, man, if there's a pop-up window in there... That pop-up window would win the game. Absolutely. Well, not the game, but that would win the confrontation here right it now. It certainly put him pretty close to winning the game. 
that would prevent the uh, this. And, and Jaw says, I don't like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> and and everyone is just laughing about this. And drawing more cards. I think drawing cards is a is a safe solution. I mean, it seems often like you're giving up when you're drawing cards, yeah. but often the solutions are in your deck actually. There's a Jackson or an Ice, and uh, FO exercise to so keep the Ice, uh, the Jackson. Yeah, I think it's probably safe. But I think the other Ice yeah. was wrap around anyway, and yeah. at this point, it's not really worth it. Nothing happened, so we have to assume that FOX doesn't have an agenda on his hand. I mean, this just leaves the leaves the doors wide open to try and uh, get rid of that Sansa. What does FOX do? He didn't get any credits, right? He just drew cards. Is that true? Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Huh? He didn't play anything. Maybe he did just get. But no, yeah. he spent all his credits. He hasn't got any credits left. Yeah, he has zero credits, so yeah, he just drew cards, Oh no, he, I guess. he must have installed ice over R and D. Oh, Did he? no, no, that was there oh, no, before. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. All right, we see. Is that a ghost runner? I think it's ghost runner. That really opens up a lot of possibilities right now. Definitely. Uh, so this funny thing about FOX, he knows that uh, all the account siphon has been used. Second click is run on an R and D. I gotta gotta check out what's coming up. If there is no agendas on on HQ, we need to prevent agenda from coming into HQ. And there's a second pop up. There's a, two pop ups there. Going down to two credits would have mean it, oh. but then how you break it? I guess you can click through, right? You can click yeah. through. Yeah, I mean he's got the R and D interface out. He will be seeing two cards. He might be able to spot something and just nab it from the top. But how painful would it be to see an NPD there? Oh. Don't even talk about it. That would be. <laughs> I think I'd cry for him. <laughs> and also, like fueling uh, FOX, giving the FOX the money, is also not good. But you gotta do it, right? Yeah, I, th I think you've yeah, got to. He, he actually pays. No. Uh, wait. What is he breaking? Well. I'm not sure what happened here. I think he paid the, the credits to... Oh, no! He used the Ghost Runner credits to... Oh. And the um, the cloak here to to actually break the the, the Eli in a, in a hard way. Yeah, but it, all he saw was a fast track and I think it was another Sansan. Mm, that's good. That's Especially the fast track is really painful here because he knows that, that, uh, that FOX will fast track the agenda next turn. Yeah. And of course, and he's, he's given up. <laughs> he's throwing his hands in the air. This is really not looking good. The, the NEH, again, that NEH. Ugh. Yes, so, and of course, yeah. we see that fast track getting out. Uh, Probably the final Astro. The final Astro, yeah. Complete the train. Astro getting installed, advancing at once, and getting a token here, and then it gets out. Yes. Oof. Now, now Jaws is really on the clock. He really needs to see a lot of agendas quickly, or uh, he will lose the game. But as he's already proven, he can quite easily just uh, keep putting pressure on R and D. I mean, with the R and D interface out, he's essentially just negating that daily business show every time he gets in there. That's true. He will see both cards from the daily business show. But on the other hand, I mean, then FOX still has like three clicks left to draw past the business show, and with an APD out, he just needs like a fast track. The third fast track if he has one. Yeah, and he did pull that Jackson, didn't he? So it really doesn't matter. I mean, even something like a um, um, breaking news will win the game for FOX. Yep. Doesn't really matter what kind of agenda he draws. Uh, I guess NAPD wouldn't. No, even NAPD because he still has an N S crypt token. Yeah. Oof. Oh, tense. This is a terrible position to be in for Jaws. Definitely, he doesn't have the money to trash that that sense and really not looking good, man. Whew. And he only has breakers <laughs> for sentries and coro. And so even like code case still keep him out. So that, yeah. is that a quandary in there? See, it will keep him out, so he can't really even predictably trash that sense and there. He decides to run on the R and Ds. Yep. 
There's the NAPD. Oh, that's a horrible thing to see. Is that an APD? Yeah. Oh, Best card he saw. man. Oh. And that's it. He must know that's game then. Yeah, and if, that's, if, if FOX draws that NAPD, he will win there the game. Go, yeah. And yes, that's so, indeed the game. And Handshake. Wow, wow. Oh, what, a, what a painful slow death for Jaws either. He, had he was some doing so well. Death. He was doing well, yeah. I know... That the problem I always have with any, any age is sometimes like you end a game and you don't really know what could I have done better. I don't. I think the thing is just to accept the loss. When you lose against an APD, uh, an APD, any yeah. age. <laughs> yeah. Well, both. It's it's just a case of you know. Yeah. You, I don't think you can do better than just constantly trying to put them under pressure. And unfortunately, like he was so screwed with his icebreakers. Uh, that's true. Also, I didn't see like too many economy from him. Like the, the Desperado was really missing there. Uh, I don't know. Like uh, I think face, uh, like checking some of the remotes would have been wiser. But of course, without Desperado, it's like really painful to check those remotes. Yeah. Um, like because like I feel like the first two Astros um, account sizes failed, and I think that's that was like a very a well thing for oh, yeah. for Jaws. Uh, like it, it really very well thing for uh, yeah. That was a huge setback. If those. Uh, if uh, account siphons have hit, that would have been a completely different game. But of course, FOX uh, did always a good job of securing himself against account siphons, so that was a you know very well played game here right now. Incredibly so. Stefan, yes. you are doing a podcast called Nerd Runner, right? Yes, yes, me and my uh, longtime housemate, then just good friend Mark. Uh, yeah, we, we kind of. I taught him the game one drunken night when we were in London together. <laughs> and, uh, and I did a terrible job of it, but I got him hooked, which is one of the best things about this game. Yes. And, uh, and yeah, we, we have a podcast where we talk about uh, stupid decks. I mean, we, we're definitely not a tier one podcast. No, that's a th no none of us is, I guess. <laughs> no. But, uh, but no, it's, it's great. Uh, so I, he does all the spiel for the finding of the website, but I think you can find us. We're on Reddit under a lot of Nerdrunners posts, and we're on canlaugh.com slash Nerdrunners. Yes. Uh, and yeah, it's if you like stupid decks such as my monolith boxy trade-in deck. <laughs> you had me at monolith. I know. It, I, I just wanted to come up with a deck that I could tell the runner when I sat down. I'm not going to try and win. All I'm going to try and do is get a monolith and then trade it in for a boxy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It's won me more games than I'm actually proud. That I'm too proud to sell. Oh, this is the best trading in a monolith. This is the best. Yeah, and uh, I'm currently working on a <laughs> woodcutter tyrant deck and seeing if I can get that to work. Okay, guys, if you if if the things that just came out of Stefan's mouth uh, make make you <laughs> make you sexually aroused, then that's <laughs> then that neurotrans is certainly the part you have to maybe check see out. see a doctor. <laughs> And but and while you're checking out the doctor, you should check out Nedrunners. All right, we will be leaving. We will next turn uh, next round is going to be the final round of the tournament. I hope you will join us. We will be and always have been hacking the planet. Hacking the planet. Hacking the planet. Shut up and get in the car. Oh man. Shit on me. That was good. <laughs>